Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to express grave concern over the threat of radical Islamic terrorism. What we need is a comprehensive strategy to destroy terrorist organizations like ISIS. Instead, the administration is ramping up the release of Guantanamo Bay detainees. Make no mistake, these detainees are the worst of the worst. One former detainee has become a leader of al-Qaeda's affiliate in Yemen. Another, released last month, was Osama bin Laden's bodyguard. Just weeks before the Olympics, here we are again. Authorities in Brazil are on the hunt for a former detainee who went missing. With, it, with another two dozen detainees cleared for this summer, I work to include key safeguards in next year's National Defense Authorization Act, like requiring written agreements with foreign nations that accept these Gitmo transfers. I introduced legislation with Senator Steve Daines to block all Gitmo transfers until these safeguards are signed into law or until the end of the year. The President wants to empty Gitmo and bring the remaining terrorists to U.S. soil. Mr. Speaker, we cannot allow these terrorist detainees to put American lives at risk. I yield back. Gentleman from Indiana yields back.